What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Worldwide Shenanigans. It is good to be back after the whole surgery debacle. And today, we're going to tell you our top five best tips to score an apartment in Los Angeles, California. Let's do it. Ben and I just moved from Washington, D.C. to Los Angeles, California earlier this year. And our first tip to get an L.A. apartment is know your budget. If you look online, you'll read that your rent should never be more than 30% of your income. However, this depends on income and it is common in L.A. to spend more on rent. Though if the rent is too much higher, you probably won't be approved for the apartment. Yes, though you can have an ideal or soft budget and a hard budget. For example, you could say ideally you'd like rent to be less than $1,700, but including utilities, parking, and other costs, what's the actual maximum you're willing and able to afford? Maybe including all other costs, it's up to $1,900 per month. So because different apartments have different variable costs other than rent, you might pay for parking or laundry or utilities versus other apartments include this, make sure you include all of that in your calculation. And make sure you go to the leasing office and ask these questions as well. Yeah. Next, tip number two, decide your must-haves. Your must-haves could be anything important to you. You and potentially any roommates could make a list of your top five must-haves in an apartment. Ben and I did that and that's how we choose our apartments. For some ideas of your must-haves, it could be the number of bedrooms and bathrooms, does the apartment have a balcony or a dishwasher, or laundry. Some other ideas are, does the building have a roof or pool? Is air conditioning included? What's the square footage of the apartment and parking spots? Another huge important one for some people like us, are pets allowed? And last, the final big must have could be your location. And this brings me to tip number three. Tip number three is research the area. LA is huge. huge. Choosing somewhere to live can be tough. So I recommend start researching the area at least three months before you actually need to sign a lease. By doing this, you can learn common rent prices, learn about the neighborhoods, and learn what's common in that city. For example, when I was looking at apartments in DC, it's common to pay an extra $100 or $200 a month for parking. Versus in LA, most places include parking. Or in DC, it's pretty easy to find an apartment that includes utilities, but in LA, that is very rare. Once you've done your research, it's time for tip number four. Choose a neighborhood. As we said before, LA is a big city. Yeah. So to make your search easier, only search through the few neighborhoods you actually like. Yes. When I first started looking at apartments, I was looking from the beach to downtown. After my research, I narrowed down my search to only West Hollywood, Venice, Culver City, or maybe Santa Monica. If it was farther outside these neighborhoods, it was a no. This kept the search manageable yeah. and easier to drive for tours. Tip number five is tour in person. While you might think you should always tour in person before renting, I found this to be especially true in LA. I don't know if it's because we're brand new to the city, but so much was surprising in person. Some things you just can't learn looking online. Yeah. Like how one apartment we thought was beautiful, but it smelled terrible in all the hallways. That it was, so, was bad. so gross. Even if you can't go inside the specific unit you want to rent, still go to the building. You can see the hallways, laundry, safety, cleanliness, and more. 
I've never been more shocked by some apartments than here in LA. In one week, Shannon and I toured probably about 20 different apartments. Some you know as soon as you park, this is not it. And you just can't get that from online photos or phone calls. So those are our top five best tips for scoring an apartment in LA. We ultimately chose an apartment in West Hollywood, love it, and would be happy to answer any other questions. So please leave any questions you have in the comments below. Yeah. And we look forward to reading them. Yeah. And in the meantime, thank you guys for watching Worldwide Shenanigans. Peace.